Good afternoon, Cyber Traders, and happy November 22nd, the afternoon. This is the less than an hour away before the big uh, big weekend. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having an exciting one. Looks like a lot of you guys stuck it out today. Look at that. Wahoo, right, Justin? Good to see you. David, Ken, good to see you. Great. Deb, fine. How you feeling, Deb? Grant, good to see you. Looks like you guys stuck it out. I, I was thought a lot of you guys were going to go. Honestly, I was going to take off this afternoon. And I'm like, you know what? There's just so much action going on. And uh, you know what? You can't. It's very, very unpredictable. It really is. It's unbelievable how unpredictable. And let me tell you, some of you guys did great. And you know what? I want to make it a quick shout out because today, you know, we had, I told you last week, we signed up the most trial members um, here at CTU in history. And um, it, and it looks like more and more of us, uh, more people starting to realize how important trading is and finding us. And I just want to do a couple of shout outs because let me tell you, today, a lot of the traders were here and they all want to be part of the family. And you know what? There's a lot of BSing going on out there. And a lot of people think like, you know, you know a lot of people are very skeptical and you should be very skeptical. But you know what? I tell everybody, watch the traders in the room. Look how they make money. And you know what? Uh, John um, Howey from uh, Indiana signed up as a gold student uh, today. Um, uh, Dana Kinnington, I'm, he could he had to run, but you know from San Antonio, Texas, signed up to be a gold student. Even one thing twice. Kevin McGraw, it was a great conversation from uh, from uh, talking to him from uh, from Maine. All great people, great conversations. They're so excited. They a lot of them told me they couldn't, you know. They never seen so many winners and, and so many in the trading room. And you know what they were so impressed about is that I didn't tell them what to buy and sell. It. You guys know how to do it, and I told them that's what we do here at CTU. I don't tell you guys what to buy. I just teach you how to play the game. You guys need to do it on your own, and that's what everybody wants. So it's really exciting, and it's great to see you and everybody. Um, that's what it's all about. Now, what happened this afternoon? Well, let's talk. I mean, this morning. Let's talk about some of the big winners. All right. So. Um, before a uh, great winner in this E L um, this E L T K uh, Solomon uh, actually no, I'm sorry not Solomon Lawrence made eighty five cents Ken made ninety cents on it let's give those guys a round of applause dude on that nice little winner on that one congrats and uh, let me tell you that Roku holy cow that thing is like wow wow Ben I'm a little disappointed in you you only Ben only made a buck eighty on that stock. All right, Ben, give him a round of applause. <laughs> ben only made a, only a buck eighty. All right, a couple other ones. Uh, Solomon did pretty good on that. Uh, did really well on that uh, CLNT trade that we found this morning. Uh, that one he made about ninety cents on that one. Good for you. Give him a round of applause. All right, and there were a couple of good ones. I mean, just to throw out there, we had the LM. Uh, LMFA, that one uh, had a really nice pop, went from $250 to $5. Great, great move in the middle of the day. MRA, uh, MARA, another big mover, which by the way, I'm still a fan of. Uh, that's going back on the watch list. MARA, you're going to put that one. That one's doing pretty well. AMPE, another nice little mover. And you know what's so funny? They're all cheap movers, too. Um, Actually, I was almost getting nervous getting shaken out a few times because they move so damn slow sometimes. But that one did pretty good. And the Mark, too, that was pretty cool, too. Um, M-A-R-K, that one, $7 to 9 that one uh, did pretty well, too. So, overall, pretty impressive morning so far and the middle of the day. I couldn't believe it. It was, like, unbelievable. Um, so, anyway, a couple of stocks we're going to put on the watch list. So, we're going to trade this afternoon. So uh, let's talk about some of them that are moving. Okay, the first one is the R-I-O-T. Uh, guys, keep a close eye on that one. That one's got a great push. Went from $2 up to $10. Backed off, back to 6 Got a nice little push here. 900,000 shares. Uh, um, the R-I-O-T up 23%. 9 million shares. Looks pretty decent. Let's see if it breaks through this resistance levels of 720. R-I-G-L, and we already know about that one. Uh, only thing that concerned about me is that it was very spotty on the chart, but it is breaking all-time highs, a little slow mover, nice little uh, penny spread right there for all you beginner uh, level one traders right up your alley. FTP. What happened to that one? I spelled it wrong. 
Uh, no, it wasn't that one. Uh, GE. You know, I'm telling you right now, I'm keeping a very close eye on these GE. You know, if it's uh, as a swing trade, not as a day trade. If it really kind of holds here for just a little bit longer, I might consider going long in this position. Uh, let's just see how it kind of holds up here pretty strong. But GE, you know, that one is going to be one of my swing trades. Uh, the SQ, I'm keeping a very, very close eye. Uh, this stock, we all took our profit in it. But, you know, that probably could have been a lot of profit taking going on. The stock is holding pretty strong here at this 47, traded 35 million shares. That's a lot of shares, guys. And I mean, I know we made a lot of money on it. I got out right here around uh, 48. I was going to get out in pre-market, but it looks so strong. But I got out right around here. I'm no problem buying it back. I, you know, listen, the thing went all the way down to 46. So if it, you know, the trend is your friend. I'm not bucking that trend, guys. We saw what happened. This is. Um, you know, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. I don't know if it really is coming down that fast right now. It's kind of holding pretty strong right here. Different ball game than the other ones. Now, a couple of, uh, of um, yeah, I was actually, Andrea, I was going to bring that up. The MARA. Uh, MARA is coming up to a double top right there. And if it does break that eight, uh, that buck 85, another stock to do pretty well. It's a 4.9 4, 4. million shares traded, you know, 29, 20, up 29%. I like that one, Maria, and that was on my list. Couple of shorts, guys. Can we keep talking about the longs? What about some shorts, right? I don't know if these stocks are on your short list, but the BZUN not looking too good. That looks like a, if it hold, if it breaks that support level right there of this low right here, twenty nine. See you later, buddy. Uh, Et um, EKSO, another short that I saw that doesn't look too well. Stock is testing some major major supports. Listen, the stock went from a buck only to five. If it breaks the support levels, I don't know if she's on your short list, but she is. You know, it's so funny that whatever we find that's in the big gainers ends up showing on the big losers. All right. Okay, anything I'm missing that I did not pull out? Yeah, she's testing that buck 85. You got you to break that buck 85, though. And just keep an eye. And by the way, you know what's nice about this stock? Look at, look at the matrix. Look at all the iceberg orders. 34,000 shares at a buck 90. Hey, how you doing over there? We see you, buddy. We you trying to tell us you're not looking to sell anything? I see you for 35,000 shares. <laughs> all right, that's what level three is all about. Exposed, exposed, exposed. All right, everybody, so listen, if I don't see you going into the close, uh, listen, you guys did great today, so it's so nice to end it. You know, now you got some extra money to go spend on Black Friday. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope everyone has a great time. You know, great turkey day. Um, and remember, we are going to be closed. Uh, we do, we have some, and by the way, guys, uh, on our homepage or our website, we're going to have some great Black Friday deals. Uh, we're going to have some Black Friday deals on a bunch of stuff right now on coaching, on on site, on, uh, you know, upgrades. So for all of you here that are benef looking to, uh, you know, enjoy Black Friday, let's take some of that money and enjoy it. All right, guys? So look forward to seeing you that. Enjoy, uh, so enjoy the promotions. And go spend some of that money you bought. Guys, it doesn't do anything in the bank. You know what I mean? Go out there. You did well today. Go out and buy yourself a night. You know, go out and buy a nice Rolex watch. You know, it's funny. I saw two people in, in Vegas, um, uh, two fellow students, and uh, I told them to go buy themselves uh, nice Prada bags you know, while they were there. Uh, not Prada. Prada, please. You got Chanel bags. That's what it was. So it was great. So go out there and spend it. All right, guys? Have a good time. Enjoy your weekend. See you back on Friday. If you're not going to be here, I know it's going to be a slow day, but let me tell you, Fridays have been exciting. So if you could make it, definitely show up on Friday. We'll be here. It's a short day. What do you got to lose? You know, 930 to 1. All right? And if not, I'll see you back on Monday. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. And by the way, watch out for that guy for 37,000 shares at a buck 90. Let's see if he gets done. Let's see if he gets exposed. Thanks, everyone. Happy trading.